Okay, I was going to tell you next about when you should correctly use the in the pipe laser compared to when you use the above ground spinning laser. And we'll just uh, simulate this. Salt shaker is the uh, in the pipe laser. And this would be the uh, simulate the above ground. These would be manhole sections. And this would be a base. We'll just assume that I'm going to talk about a uh, storm sewer or uh, sanitary sewer that has a base, but it works with a monolith too. Well, what a lot of guys think is that if they start out, so you put the base down, base is right, you put the first section down, it's right, and then you stick your in-the-pipe laser in. Okay, we'll pretend this right here. And that sits out, you got it set right, and that sends out your beam, and you start laying your pipe, you know. So you got your pipe, and these straws over your pipe. A lot of guys assume that if the start out perfect, that you'll end perfect, and that's just not the case. And the reason is that you have to confirm everything that you're doing with the above ground one as you do uh, do the work. And this is because the in the pipe laser, they have a tendency to wander. And the reason is when you start out, if you're like plastic pipe or cement pipe, it really doesn't matter. When the pipes sit out on the ground, you know, and you got them sitting up on the side of the trench, they heat up and the, and the outside surface is really hot. Then you take that pipe and you put it down in the cold, cold earth, it starts thermals because the temperature on the bottom of the pipe on the inside is going to try to cool down as the heat comes off of it, the pipe, and it sets up kind of like little thermals inside the pipe. And if you ever laid inside a pipe on a hot day, you can feel how the, the pipe will kind of like breathe. It'll, a lot of air comes out and then stops and then a lot of air comes out. And that's because there's this contrast between the cold ground and the hot pipe, and it's trying to equal out. And what happens is that the laser beam, which you think is straight and always straight, it'll be pulled down in the thicker air that's in the bottom of all your pipes. And that's because of the difference, the hotter air up on top, which is lighter, thinner, thicker air at the bottom of the pipe. So the beam will be pulled down in the course of a day. And it only takes about 100 feet for you to start to notice this. That's why you have to confirm everything. You have to confirm the grade you know, you got your little grade pole and everything. You have to confirm as you go along. And I suppose I would, I was confirming it about every hundred feet. I reshoot the uh, with the above ground to make sure that my grade was right. And so that's just the uh, above ground. It also helps you when you're doing a, uh, you're coming up to a catch basin or um, a manhole. And that's because okay, you're laying the pipe along just like this, and you you think your pipe is perfect, but you get to where you got to put the base. So you do the math, you countersink the base down, pipe goes on there, and then the manhole. And you think that's all perfect. But the problem is, it doesn't really even matter where the pipe was. You have to have taken into account the base, bottom section, middle section, cone casting and everything, because you got to match the street level. It really doesn't even matter where your pipe is. This has to be perfect. This doesn't really have to be all that perfect. You can, there's some wiggle room. You can fix it later with different grade. This has to be perfect because they set the street. And if this is not perfect, it causes a lot of trouble. You'd have to replace sections, get smaller sections, or you'd have to, you know, they'll catch you and they say, hey, you know, you're too low or you're too high. This is the part that's going to show. So your casting has to match the street level. So that's why you have to use the above ground laser to confirm that everything below it is at the perfect depth so that when they pave the street, it all matches. Okay, that's all I wanted to say is why you use the different two, the different two types of lasers.